Hey, this is Driving with the Miles. I have a request to do a road sign video, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm leaving a loading zone at a post office, so obviously there are a lot of signs here. So my blinker's on, I'm pulling off, looking over my shoulder. Uh, this is a regulatory sign, no stopping, standing, or parking. If you stop, stand, or park here, you will get a ticket and they will tow your car. So I'm going up to the edge. A lot of these post offices are really small and narrow. So you see me kind of measuring the spot. I don't want to hit the curb. So I look through my window and this is one key thing beginning drivers need to do. Then I turn into the nearest lane, hand over hand into the turn, hand over hand. The one way is the regulatory sign. If you go the wrong way, you will definitely get a ticket. Guide signs are green and white or blue and white. So we have a street called Church and it's green and white. Also, I'm stopping behind the stop line on your DMV test or road test. If you don't stop behind the stop line, you will get marked down and have a green. I look left, I look right, and I proceed. We have a regulatory sign, which is a white background with black letters. The speed limit here is 30 miles an hour. In a lot of downtown areas, it could be 15, it could be 10, it could be 30. So you're scanning, you're watching for people, you're watching for cars, you're watching for pedestrians. You always have to be a defensive driver and be aware of what's going on. So I'm still scanning, still looking around. The do not walk sign is flashing. Also, I wanna get over one lane to the left. Mirror turn signal blind spot because this lane is for right turns only. And that's a regulatory sign. It tells you what you can and cannot do. So here are more guide signs. You have names of streets. So again, I'm stopping behind the stop line. I have my crosswalk and there's some warning signs. Warning signs are yellow with a uh, yellow background with uh, black images. This one means pedestrian, the next three blocks. So you need to be aware of pedestrians uh, and the 15 uh, speed limit. So I'm just scanning left and right. Green does not mean go, green means you look. Also, ruse the other right away. That car making a left turn has to yield for us and the pedestrian walking across. Now we have double yellow lines. This means you cannot pass. I'm scanning, looking. We have regulatory signs, and this is specifically for people who are handicapped. You never want to park in that spot because they will tow your car. So I'm just scanning, looking. Uh, most U.S. signs have a color-coded system to help guide you and prepare you. Uh, this is a route marker, Route 3. So I'm just scanning. I see the red light up there, so I'm looking ahead. Um, taking it nice and smooth, nice and easy. You see me looking around with the GoPro. It's taking my time. And again, we have pavement markings. This lane is for straight or turning right. The lane to the left of me is for left turns only. This is a protected left-hand turn lane. You have an arrow, and it will blink uh, so the driver making a left turn has to yield to oncoming traffic. And then when traffic clears, they can turn or they'll have a green turning arrow. So again, I'm just looking and scanning, always looking around. Don't just sit and be a zombie. Why would you do that? You have to look around. You have to be aware because there are things happening every second. And that's what a lot of being drivers do not do. They're not aware of signs. They're not aware of lights until you learn the process. Remember, it takes up to 10 years to truly learn how to drive. Understand, see, there's a blinking yellow. Let this car go by, and then that vehicle can make a turn. So I'm looking, I'm scanning. There's the double yellow again. And I'm scanning ahead. There's the route marker again. And I'm staying smooth. Uh, there's another regulatory sign that says you can't make a right turn because this is a one way. I've seen a lot of people get very confused. There's a blue and white sign, meaning there's a hospital nearby. So if you don't know already, we're getting ready to go on to a one way because the sign across the light says begin one way. So I'm looking because people do run lights and you always want to be aware of what's going on. Uh, just because your light turns green doesn't mean people will not hit you. Uh, you always notice that the vehicle should be turning in the nearest lane and when they make that right turn, the nearest lane is to the curb. So you want to keep your turn as short as possible. 
So I'm sitting here looking, I'm scanning, I'm looking at the light can ready to change, it's green, I look, I check, and then I begin going on a one way. I've seen a lot of people drive the wrong way on a one way street, and it's very dangerous. We do have the right of way for this car getting ready to pull out, but always be a defensive driver. So I'm scanning, I'm looking, I'm taking my time. I'm gonna go ahead and get over one lane to the left, mirror, turn signal blind spot there are other regulatory signs one way going from the left to the right no left turn there are red and white signs which are regulatory signs so in downtown areas you have one ways going into the downtown area and going out to facilitate faster moving traffic so I'm maintaining my speed nice and smooth I'm taking my time I'm being patient and patience is a virtue so I'm just scanning I'm looking around I'm being patient I'm watching for the debris in the road. I see the green light up there. Look ahead. If the light's yellow, your foot should be off the gas. Have a nice slowdown. Just taking your time. You always see me looking around. These are the things that you must do as a driver and learn this behavior to really be safe. And a lot of beginning drivers just don't do this. So you'll get marked down your DMV test or road test if you're not scanning and being that defensive driver. We have some other warning signs coming up here. So I'm stopping behind the stop line, being consistent. Nice smooth stop. I look, I check. There's a car that just cut out to the left of me. And now we're coming up to a railroad track. It says left lane in. So if I'm in the left lane, that will end. You, if you're not paying attention, you'll get cut off. So we're coming up to a railroad track. You need to look left, right, and left. If you don't, you will get marked down. So I'm maintaining good speed. Warning sign telling us that the far left lane, the third lane to my left ends. Chevron alignment signs are another warning that the lane merges into two. We have our regulatory sign saying the middle lane is for left turns only. It's not for driving down the middle. So I'm maintaining good speed. I'm scanning. I'm looking ahead. I always ask my students what color lights are, and that's a green light ahead. So let's review. I had a request to talk about signs, regulatory signs. They tell you what you can and cannot do. Warning signs give you a warning. Uh, guide signs tell you where things are. If you found this of value, give it a thumbs up. And if you want more information on driver's education, subscribe to my channel, Driving with the Miles. Thank you.